Alright guys, well, a lot of you have been asking me to review this M1 Abrams tank, and I was finally able to get a hold of uh, not just one, but two of them, so there's, there's a whole other kit you can build it into, but for this video we'll just be focusing on the M1 Abrams itself. So let's, uh, let's take a closer look. Alright guys, so we're looking at the set now, and we can see we have a building down here, it comes with the building and a couple terraced minifigures. And then we have the tank, and the tank is just, it's beautiful, it's super detailed, the turret spins 360 degrees, comes with an entire tank crew, barrel goes up 45 degrees, just like the real one. And looking at this tank, it's just, it's so detailed, Kazi did an amazing job on this tank. Everything from the body, to the turret, to the guns and everything, they're just so detailed. So, at the back of the tank there's a hatch that we can open up and access the engine just like the real one. If we, uh, if we look at the side where the tracks are, it almost looks like there's suspension. It gives the illusion of suspension, but it's, it's not. It's just fixed. But it still treads really nicely. The tracks do just, just fine. Works really well. The turret spins 360 degrees. Again, the barrel goes up about 45 degrees. It spins really nice and smooth, so... Now one of the only dislikes I have about this, uh, this entire set is on the turret hatch. You cannot fit the minifigure down inside with his legs on because of the, the shape of the turret hatch. So you gotta just take the legs off and stick them down, and it looks fine, but it just... It's the one thing I don't like about it, but I understand why. But it still looks great with the minifigures in. The hatches and everything work just fine anyways, and they still look really well. And you also have the machine guns and everything mounted just on the turret, and, and it allows for swiveling of the weapons. So one of my favorite features about this entire set is it actually has a full interior built into it. So you just simply remove the turret like so, get it out of the way, and it gives us access into the inside of the tank. So right now you can just see where uh, where the interior is. You can see some shells right there. There, There's also hinges that we can just open it up and look right inside the engine. And the engine has uh, several moving gears inside of it for added realism. Now in the front, there is also the driver down there, just looking out his viewport at the tank periscope. So we just remove it and we can see him inside of there. And there we have it, it has a beautiful interior, you can fit all your minifigures inside of it. You can just set your minifigures inside of it like so. You can have the loader, the gunner, you can have just about anything inside of it. So here we have the tank crew itself, we have the gunner, we have the commander, and we have the driver. So the gunner is the only one that actually comes with a gun and has a bulletproof vest and a helmet. I'm not the biggest fan of the face on the far left, but the other two are okay. I'm a big fan of the personal defense weapon on the tank gunner. The silencer on it is actually milled out and hollow, and you can just take it off really simply and just stick it back on. And it looks really well with the flashlight and the red dot sight. So we're going to be taking a closer look at the second part of this set. It includes a destroyed building, and it also includes two terrorist minifigures, so let's look at the minifigures first. The very first thing we're going to notice on these two figures is that they both have anti-tank weapons. So the figure on the right has an RPG-7, and the one on the left has a grenade launcher. So both these figures are pretty okay, I like the torsos, the faces are alright, but I really like the weapons that they come with. So the destroyed building is pretty detailed, it has some sandbags out front, just looks really torn up like it's from a war zone. We set a minifigure next to it, it looks like it's about three stories tall. So it has almost like a little stoplight on it, and it has a bomb, a backpack, and just it looks really torn up. Alright guys, so all in all this tank costs about $60 to $65 in total. It's a really great value, especially when you compare it to a lot of the M1 Abrams tanks on eBay. So I really enjoy it, and you can also build it into an entirely different set. You can build it into a tracked Humvee, so it's two sets in one. But the final verdict is, it's really great. It is just a tiny bit bigger than minifigure size, but it's not nearly as bad as the Tiger tank is compared to minifigures. 
So yeah, if you guys are interested, check it out. There'll be a link in the description. So thanks for watching, you guys. I'll see you guys next time.